Hello friends. In today's video, I am going to explain you about the model and activity for isosceles triangle property. We will start with the model and uh, we require material this thermocol sheet. Two thermocol sheets you can see that. Uh, compasses, cutter, pencil, sketch pen, fevicol, uh, scale, scissor. Uh, this thumb pins and for activity we require these two congruent two same shape and size two congruent isosceles triangle okay so this many things we require for today's video so let us start with the model here you can see that i have drawn here one isosceles triangle these two sides are equal ab and ac is equal so that these two sides are equal it means the triangle is an isosceles triangle now here i have made two angles two arc angle 1 and angle 2 so now here we will use two thumb pins i am using one with the blue color and one with the yellow color okay so this blue color one i am putting for angle 1 and this yellow color one i am putting for angle 2 Actually, this is the maths lab activity. We can make this model and keep it in maths lab. So, now you can remove this angle 1. You can remove this angle 2. And now we will put this angle 2 in place of angle 1. And now this angle 1 we will put in place of angle 2. Okay. Initially, the blue color one thumb pin is on left hand side and yellow color one is on right hand side. But after exchanging, now blue color thumb pin is on right hand side and yellow color is on left hand side. What does it mean? These two angles are equal in measurement. If you will remove thumb pin, so here also you can see that angle 1 and angle 2. So this way with the help of this model we have shown that in a triangle if these two sides are equal then their opposite angle here yes, just now angle 1 and the opposite angle of this side is angle 2. So these two angles are also equal in measurement. This is known as isosceles triangle property. Vice versa also we can use if two angles are equal in a triangle then their opposite side the opposite side of angle 1 is a b is equal to opposite side of angle 2 is a c so if two angles are equal then their opposite sides are also equal in length this property is known as isosceles triangle property now same activity we will do same property we will do with the help of activity for this activity, you require two congruent isosceles triangle. Both the places I have written on left hand side angle 1, right hand side angle 2. Here also angle 1 and angle 2. So one triangle we will stick as it is in the notebook. And other triangle we will cut these two angles. In this one triangle back side also I have written the same angle. This is angle 2. So here also angle 2. This is angle 1. So back side also angle 1. Now I am going to cut these two angles with the help of scissors. Okay. So I have cut this one angle. Now I will cut this angle 1 also. Okay. So I have cut this. Actually, this is the angle we are having just like the one already we have stick in the notebook. Okay. Now, another triangle also we will stick. But now we will change this. This two, I will put this side. Sometimes we need to do. We have done it here. And I have done it here. So, you can see that again these two angles are same and again you are getting isosceles triangle so if these two sides are equal these two sides are equal then the opposite angles are also equal i have just reversed this so now you are getting the same thing so this activity is for notebook and this model is for maths lab so with the help of activity and model we can explain the isosceles triangle property 
once again i am explaining you the what is isosceles triangle property in a triangle if two sides are equal then they are opposite angles that is very important which is the opposite angle angle c and which is the opposite angle of ang side ac angle b so angle b and angle c will be equal so if two sides are equal their opposite angles are also equal vice versa we can say that if the two angles are equal then their opposite sides are also equal So thank you friends for watching today's video